Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Y'all, I have not done a Dollar Tree haul in quite a while because my stores, like, <laughs> have not been getting stuff in and I haven't really been traveling as far as I used to. So, but I did find some amazing new things, finally, that I cannot wait to share with you. Now, it is a mixture. I've got some Halloween, Christmas, and just everyday stuff. So, okay, let's just get into this. All right, first off, I found this really cool tall box. I have never seen this size box at Dollar Tree before. Um, the lid comes off. I guess you could stick like a bottle of wine or something down in there. So this would be really cute too if you're like trying to like throw somebody off on like what the, you know, the gift actually is. Like put, you know, something small in here but make it look big. So that's always an option. But I just thought this box was really cute. Here's the top. It's got the deer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It says the exact same thing on this side. This side is um, freshly cut Christmas trees, hot cocoa, sleigh rides, and Santa's workshop. How cute. You could really decorate with this, especially like the top of your kitchen cabinets. If there's a space like between the the cabinets and your ceiling, like this up high a distance, you would never think this is a gift box. Like this is really cute. So love that. Then I found these like houses. They're, once again, it's just, it's a storage box, like a gift box. Love the shape of it. And I love that it's gingerbread. Like my kitchen for Christmas, I do gingerbread candy themed. So I thought this would be really cute. And I have an idea for this box. Now it's pretty much going to look as is, but different. <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense, but I've got a project in mind for this right here, but it's so cute. So I got that one. And I also grabbed, uh, it just says, welcome to the North Pole, Merry Christmas, uh, North Pole, Elf Village, Santa's Workshop, Reindeer Games. But do you see how cute this one is? You've got the, all the deer, little penguin. There you got Santa in a wheelbarrow full of toys. <laughs> so once again, and look at the top. Look at those windows, the candy cane panes. How cute. Once again, I'm just gonna do a little something with this. It's just an idea that I have, but I think it's gonna work out and it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> so that's those. Okay, now this is not just Christmas, but I'm gonna kinda go ahead and stick with the Christmas and get it out of the way. So I found this little gnome. He's really cute. He's an ornament, which I'm not gonna hang him on a tree. He may just go like on a tear tray or something, but really cute. Love the coloring they did. Um, I had to kind of pick through because some of them are really rough looking, but really cute for a dollar. So that. I found the little house. This house is so cute. Uh, so you could do this as a house or you could do it like as a gingerbread house. And that's my thought. I think I'm gonna turn ours into a gingerbread. So it's so cute. And I realized that on this one, the window panes, they're all raised. Like it's an extra piece of wood. But then on another one that I saw, the door was raised and the windows were flat. So I guess there's two different styles. But yeah, this is the one that I have. And this is so cute. I mean, you can just let your imagination run wild with these things. So love that one. Then I found these gift boxes. Okay, I love these gift boxes. Um, you've got the old red truck on the front. This one, you've got the camper, and I'm gonna open it up to show you what the inside of one looks like. But these, I'm not gonna use these as a gift box. This is gonna be kind of decor. <laughs> so, so there's this one. What is it? All hearts come home for Christmas. Oh, so sweet. I just love the old red truck. Okay, and this one, may your Christmas be merry and bright, is the camper. Love these, love the distressed wood look of it. And then the middle one, it's, oh, it's a little red wagon. Christmas trees cut and carry. Look at that Christmas tree. And look, it has a little red cardinal bird. Love that. And for those of us that have lost someone, a, a cardinal bird is like a sign from heaven. It's like a little visitor from heaven. So, love that. Yeah, but these are really cute. I mean, I love this. Could you imagine that like in a frame? You know, or once again, if you have this up high, you would never know that this is a gift box. And, Look at the sides, that green plaid. 
I love it. Now, I normally don't buy this cobblestone corners, the village stuff, but when I saw that you got two trees for a dollar, <laughs> and they're different sizes, so it's two different sizes, so I got this one right here, and then I got this one because the branches are different. Like, these are very, like, wiry, like, wispy, and this one is, like, a little more thick, kind of rugged. Like that one, you see the bristles? Like, they're thicker. Love that. But then, this one, they're really thin. It's like a wire brush. You see that? <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell the difference. Like, this one's a little more thick looking in the branches. That one, yeah, you can tell. See, this one, like, right here, it has, like, the wire wispy brushes, bristles. So, okay. So, I grabbed one of each of these. I also grabbed it in the white. And then I just, I could not pass these up. I had to grab them. You get the little red truck and the camper. So you get both of these for a dollar. And you know, a lot of times they separate this kind of stuff. That way you have to buy one here, one there. Well, this time they gave it to you. So you get both for a dollar. So cute. Love that. And then here you get Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, and a snowman. So cute. These are really cute. Like if you make like a little town, like a little Christmas village, or if you make like little snow globes or something, you could put these down in there. Very cute. Then I grabbed this pack of gingerbread men. Gingerbread. You get 12 pieces. So there are 12 of these shaped gingerbreads in here. And I plan on making something with this. Either like a garland or a wreath to put in the kitchen. So I think this will be like really cute. I've seen stuff like this like on Etsy and Pinterest, but of course it's, it's always expensive. So for a dollar, I'm gonna make my own. So this hopefully in my mind is gonna be really cute. I found the, um, the base filler. I got the white and the silver, and I also got the red and gold. Now, if you saw my Halloween video, <laughs> Now, if you saw my Halloween video where I made a Halloween garland using these, so I'm going to do the exact same thing for Christmas. You can make you a big garland out of these. You can make you a little tassel with these, but it turns out so cute. So my plan is to do like red and white for like candy cane. Um, I would love to find some with green. That'd be really cute. Do like red, white, and green. So, but I got one of each of these. Then I grabbed these red and white checkered Napkins. You know, these are just basic napkins, 18 pack. I love the print. I love the red and white. So, I mean, you could use these for a Christmas DIY, a Valentine's DIY, 4th of July, you know, they're just very patriotic, but it's so in my mind. <laughs> so, I've got a project I'm gonna do using this. I grabbed the little trucks with the little Christmas trees in the back. These look really cute if you hang them on gifts. Like for Christmas, if you wrap up a present, or very easily pop this wire off. You could stick this in a little DIY. You can make little picture frames and add this on there. If you make bows or like a lantern topper, then you get a little truck from it. Very cute. I found the cutest little gingerbread socks. <laughs> Look how cute these are. And they are so soft. So these are really soft. I actually like, and it's called a Snugadoo is the brand. Like, I like these kind of socks from Dollar Tree. I don't buy the plain ones, but when it's soft and thick like this, I love them. So I got that. Because I am a sock lover. I live in socks. I sleep in socks. <laughs> I grabbed <laughs> these elf ears. Okay, not telling you. You can just put these on, wear them, let the kids wear them. But these also look really cute on a wreath. Like, very easily, you can add these to a wreath. Or you can, like, pull this off of here and attach it to, like, elf wreaths. So really cute, several different things that you can do with these elf ears. Then I found these adorable bags. Okay, these are just treat bags. You get 10 in here, but I'm telling you, look how cute these are. So my thought with these is cut these shapes out and add them to something. That's what I'm gonna do. Look, this little boy right here, this little gingerbread. Okay, he is adorable. He would be so cute. Like, I think I'm gonna make a sign for my kitchen and put like Mrs. Claus's kitchen or like gingerbread baking company, but he would be so cute. Like if you cut him out and you put him like on the side 
of it. So we kind of like he's popping in really cute. Then you've got all these little stars that look like cookies. You've got the little peppermints. You could Mod Podge this onto anything and make a really cute sign. That's my thought with these. And like I said, you get 10 of them. So you can make a couple different things, different projects, different ideas, frame them, or actually use them, you know, because these are, are adorable. And I do not remember seeing these from last year. So I think these are brand new. Okay. And then these, I grabbed this bag. So this says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And look at that. Very easily cut that out and put that in a frame. You know, a lot of times Dollar Tree will get those, um, like the wooden box frames, you know, pop the picture out, mod podge this in, or take a glue stick, glue it in, whatever you want. Once again, they're cute bags. This, you could cut that out and use that on something. Sell that red and green plaid. And once again, you get 10 of them. You know, that, or, you know, if you make one, it turns out really cute, you could give them as gifts. Cause that's cute you know or get like get together you know with some friends or family and have a little craft night and everybody make their own little little picture out of these so cute and then i found the candy cane lane this is also perfect if you do like the whole gingerbread candy whatever in your kitchen this is so cute candy cane lane prop this up anywhere but also the sides so even if you just want that for a diy put something over the top Use that as your base. So all you see is that. That's an option that you could do. So I grabbed that one. It's got the cute little candy canes. That. And then I got this one. It says Seasoned Greetings. But I love the sides on this. It's got the holly berries. Love that. That is so pretty. So anything, I don't know if I'm going to use the Seasoned Greetings. I think I may just kind of use that as my base to something that I'm going to make. So I'll just use this to hold up what I'm gonna make. <laughs> and two, if you don't like this, just if you need like a base or platform for something, you could paint this any color that you want. Okay, another great thing that I found. So, those of you that could not find the witch hat that's wrapped in tinsel, you know, a lot of you said that your stores are sold out. They have a Santa hat. So you can get you some Santa hats and when I make my elves or like the, um, the candy corn wreath that I made, uh, gosh, there's scarecrows, there's witches. Like I said, I'm going to make some elves. If you cannot find the little witch hats, get these. You can do the exact same thing using the Santa hats that they just put out in stores. Or your stores may have not put them out yet, so just kind of look for these. So they had these, and actually these were blended in with some red bells. Like at first I just saw the bells. And then I realized that there was hats back there. So yes, so get these and we can make some elves using these. Okay, so I get those. So speaking of that kind of stuff, make sure that you grab you some mesh. Get you at least two of each, two reds, two whites, two greens. That way we can make some elves. Um, I just grabbed, I've got some green here already. I just went ahead and grabbed some red and whites. So make sure you know, that you get these so that you can make them. All right, so speaking of wreaths, I found the candy cane wreath form. Um, I got two of them actually. So these are really great. I make candy canes out of mine and I make big full candy canes. So we will be doing that together. But I also have a couple of other ideas that you can do with these. That's why I grabbed two of them. So I got two candy canes and then, <laughs> I found the snowman. So Sandy, I got the snowman. So I have never seen this before at Dollar Tree. You see that? It's a snowman wreath form. So like I said, I have never seen this, so I've never used one, but I'm gonna figure this out and we are gonna do this together. And actually I have two different thoughts in mind of how to do this. So hopefully they both work. That way I can show you two different options. But Sandy, I was excited when I found this. Okay, and then the final Christmas thing, and then we're gonna move on. The final Christmas thing that I'm so excited for, and I was so excited when I found it, the barn snow globe. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how perfect this little snow globe is. I love this. I love the muted colors that they use. They didn't do like a bright blue. It's kind of like a, 
I, <laughs> it's kind of like a bluish, greenish, grayish. I have no idea what color this is, but it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you've seen this in person yet at the stores, but I was so excited when I found this. Love it. It is perfect. I truly like good job Dollar Tree because this is perfect. It's a green briar, but it's beautiful and I'm so happy that I found it. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Next new thing that I found was this like dog container. It's got the little paw prints on it. I guess it could be cat or dog. I just, I have a dog. So this in black. I also had a red one, but I grabbed this black one. But, um, you know, of course the lid comes right off. And this is a really good size. Do you see how big that is? Does it say the ounces? Eesh. It says 96.8 full ounces. So um, that's gonna hold quite a bit. Okay, it's got a good seal on it. So we're going camping and we take Bailey with us. So I figured when we go, instead of taking like a bag of dog food, I'll just fill this up for the weekend and that'll be perfect to take camping with us. So yeah, just kind of keep her food fresh. So that, um, or you can just fill this up with treats, you know, your, your pet's food. Really cute. Then this, I was excited to find this, okay? My sister-in-law has like a pampered chef one and I've always like, <laughs> this makes me sound old. Like I always admired hers. Like, oh, that's so good. Like when she makes like her taco meat, like she just uses this and blends everything up. Like I take my spatula and I just like crumble up my meat. But I saw her using this one day and I thought it was really neat. Like I said, hers was Pampered Chef, which you know is expensive. So when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I was like, heck yeah. So I am excited to use this. Yeah, the things when you get older that you get excited about. <laughs> so got that. My stores got back in the bambo. Bambo. <laughs> Bambo, <laughs> bamboo. My stores got back in the bamboo cutting boards. So these are really cute and people were doing all kinds of DIYs with these a few months ago. So, so they get two of these and there was a stack of them. I thought about grabbing four, but I truly don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. So I just grabbed two, but yeah, but it's, I mean, a bamboo. So any of you just need you a nice little cutting board. Yeah. There's that. Now y'all, I have never in my life seen this before. What, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I grabbed it. It's called a pot socks, see, pot socks. So basically this right here, it looks like it's a basket weave. It looks like it's a nice, pretty, like wicker basket. So all you do is you slide it over top of a plastic, just basic pot that you have your flower in and it makes it look Fancy. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen one of these? It says it fits a 10 inch pot. It's a stretchable fabric cover pot socks. Makes your plants happy. Washable, reusable, and stain resistant. Um, from the makers of book socks. So I mean, <laughs> very cute. So I picked this one right here. This is it, you never know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree. <laughs> Okay, I found another package of the orange and black. Love these. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you, I made this tassel out of these beads. This right here, this foam filler that people just dump in vases and bowls and go and that's all they do with it. I made my own tassel and it is so cute. Look, the little, little ghost is from Dollar Tree. The little witch's hat is from Dollar Tree and I just made my own little tassel. You can make a huge long garland out of these. You know, but it's so cute. Like I said, this is this right here. This garland right here is these beads. That is why I grabbed the red and the white. That way I could do something like that to do like a candy cane or something. <laughs> I grabbed some more of the socks. Like this has the pumpkins on them. And I'm telling you, I have the candy corn ones. I love my candy corn ones from Dollar Tree. I live in them. They are so soft, so comfortable, and they stay up on my heel. They don't slide down. So I love these. So I got the pumpkin one. <laughs> and I also got the one that says, hey boo. Let me open this up and show you. Now I'm telling you, a lot of people have like moved on to Christmas. 
y'all, I'm still, I'm still decorating for fall and Halloween. Like I am fall and Halloween. So I am still buying stuff. I am still decorating. I just, we just did like our front yard and front porch. So I did a video, it turned out so cute. I'll post it at the end, that way if you wanna check it out. But yeah, look how cute. It says, hey boo. <laughs> look how cute that sock is. It says, hey boo. Look at the little ghost on it. That's the thing is, I love to enjoy every holiday. You know, and I don't wanna just like skip past it and move on to the next thing. That's why, I mean, I've got Christmas, Halloween, fall. I've got all kinds of stuff still. Okay, so there's those. I grabbed these cute plates, you know? And I'm sure this is probably nothing new to y'all because the stuff has been out for a while. But if you really look at this plate, let me open this up. If you really, truly looked at this plate, you would see how adorable it is. I mean, you've got the little orange and white polka dots that says eek. You've got the boo. Look at the little candy corn. I'm like candy corn obsessed right now. You know, I mean the cute little purple bats and the spider webs. This little plate is so cute. I mean, I love it. And granted, we're just gonna eat probably a sandwich or something off of it and throw it away, but it's cute. And it saves me from doing a lot of dishes. <laughs> so, got that. And then I also got this one. This is Cast a Spell. Um, I've decorated our house in a lot of witch stuff, a lot of Hocus Pocus themed. So this is gonna fit in perfectly in our kitchen. And like I said, we're going camping. You know, camping, you do paper plates, you know, because you don't wanna wash a bunch of dishes while you're camping. So we're gonna take these with us. Then I found this adorable bag. This right here, and you get two. Here's the, the separate bag. This is a, another bag, you get two of them. This bag right here would be adorable in a reverse canvas frame. You know, if you stayed it up kind of a brown and then put that in there and just had jack-o'-lantern face coming at you, that would be so cute. So I love that. Or this one too, in just a little frame. You know, I mean, we still have, what is today? We still have a little over two weeks. There's still two weeks to enjoy Halloween decor. So I am not done crafting. <laughs> So, if you're still like wanting to do Halloween crafts and DIYs, you know, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I have more stuff coming. I am not done yet with this. A lot of people have moved on. They're past it all, but I am not. So, got that. And then I grabbed this. You get a three pack. Look at that one. That would be so cute in a little frame. That. And then... Okay, you get two of these. Look at that little ghost. Cute. Cut him out. Mod podge him onto something. That would be really cute. Um, this one right here. Boo. I mean, adorable. This would be cute in a frame. You know? There's so many different things that you can do besides just sticking a gift or some candy in it. This makes really cute decor, and you've got three different options for a dollar. So, kind of speaking of that stuff, I found this card, okay, and this is going to be perfect for fall for us, like for all of November. This says, um, God's Sweetest Blessings, and it, it's like a pumpkin spice latte. Tell me that would not be beautiful, like in your kitchen. Like if you have like a coffee bar area, or just like on your counter, put that in a, like a really cute frame. Once again, reverse canvas. Like that. Or you could very easily just cut that shape out and put that on something. I love it. And I love that it says God's sweet blessings, but oh, so cute. I mean, like I said, I'm still buying fall and Halloween, you know? So, got that. All right. <laughs> I found more of the jumbo marshmallows. These suckers are huge. Have you seen how big these are? Okay, these marshmallows are huge. I actually did a Hocus Pocus, um, I did like a decorate with me. It was like a Hocus Pocus a coffee bar area. But then at the end, I did a little craft where we used these marshmallows and made the Hocus Pocus sisters. And I'm gonna show you that right now because I was able to find more of the little witch hats from Dollar Tree. You know, you get three of them. I'm sure you've seen these, you know, year after year. But 
I'm gonna show you how cute this is. Okay, you take that out of there. Just pull the stick out. I mean, you saw how easy that is pulled right out. Okay. One of these marshmallows <laughs> I painted to look like that, which looks like my marshmallow cups that I actually have from Amazon. And then you just stick the little witch hat on there. And look how cute that is. <laughs> I have a whole video where I made these and we decorated. And I'm telling you, it was adorable. The little black cauldrons from Dollar Tree. We made some little brooms. I will link that at the end in case you're interested and you want to see how this is. <laughs> but we made all three Sanderson sisters. And it's just these marshmallows. And I'm telling you, we did that video like a month ago. And these marshmallows are still soft. I mean, these have been sitting out for a month. <laughs> yeah, I think it's been a month. Yeah. And they're still soft. So then I found, kind of sticking with that a little bit, the cinnamon brooms. Dollar Tree is now selling the little cinnamon brooms and they smell so good. Like I can just smell it through this bag. It's a little cinnamon brooms. So I bought a few of these just for one because they smell good. Another, <laughs> I made a little broom out of it. <laughs> That's this. All I did is I went outside I got a stick. I mean, that is just a stick from my yard. I shoved it down in the center, just right down in all those branches. I shoved that down in there. It's not hot glued or anything. It's just shoved down in there. I took some of the Dollar Tree black and white gingham and I tied me a little bow. So I made like the cutest little bow that smells amazing for a dollar. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, you just never know what you can think and do with items from Dollar Tree. So I just made a cute little witch broom. And if you maybe live somewhere where you can't just walk outside and grab like the perfect stick, you know, they Dollar Tree sells like rods, like the Dow rods. They sell like the little short ones. They sell the longer ones. They sell the three foot ones. You know, just get you one of those, paint it like a little brown or you could do one like purple, one orange, one bright green, and have like three different ones if you wanted like Sanderson Sisters. It was just hocus pocus. But yeah, cute. <laughs> then Riley picked these little gloves. Um, you can wear it three different ways. Wear it like this, or you can pull the black and the blue off and just wear that on your, is for gloves. You could do it um, just the blue. And then I grabbed these gloves and it says they're men's. But I tell you what, these are some nice gloves and they fit me. And I don't really have like a huge hand, but like I stuck my hand down inside here. It is so nice. The inside, I'm telling you, the feel inside is so soft. I mean, this is something you'd buy at Target. Seriously, something you get like Target or Walmart and not at the Dollar Tree because the quality of these gloves, they're so cute. And I love, it's called, um... The longer cuff for added warmth is what it says. And look how long that is. That's like going up my arm. So you know, sometimes like they got little short gloves and right here it gets cold. This goes like up inside your jacket. So cute. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're in a store, you know, definitely look, look at these. Okay, y'all, kind of looking around all this stuff, I still have tons to show you. And I don't want this video to be too long. So I guess I will go ahead and stop for now, but. <laughs> I have so much more to share with you. So I guess I would do like a part two, maybe even a part three. I'm telling you, my stores finally started getting in stuff and I'm just so excited to share everything with you that way you don't miss out on anything. Um, and just ideas that I have that I can share with you that you can do. So, okay, so for now, that is it for this haul. Um, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.